Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about the process of sexual reproduction in Chlamydomonas. Sexual reproduction takes place by gamete formation. So there are gametes which are produced and these gametes can be of two types. They can be gymnogametes or they can be calyptogametes. Now what exactly are these gametes like? Gymnogametes are naked gametes that means they are without cell wall. So there is no cell wall, no layer outside the plasma membrane and that is why they are called naked gametes or the technical term is given as gymnogametes. Calyptogametes, they are the covered ones. That means they have cell wall. So they have a layer of the cell wall outside the plasma membrane. So there are two possible type of gametes which can be produced. The fertilization is termed as isogamous type. Isogamous means the two fusing gametes are morphologically, physiologically identical. That means size wise, structure wise, every, in every respect they are exactly same and these gametes are going to Fuse. Now the formation of these gametes is pretty much same as zoospores are produced. If you are able to recall, the method of zoospore production was that these chlamydomonas, which are biflagellate and motile structures, they lose their flagella and become non-motile. They also lose their contractile vacuoles. And the protoplast undergoes mitotic division to produce zoospores. Same process is for gamete formation. After this, the parent cell is going to rupture, releasing these gametes. These gametes are biflagellate. They resemble the zoospores, but they are smaller in size. So these are the gametes which are formed. The division here is mitotic division. This is haploid and the gametes which are produced are also haploid. Now two gametes they are going to fuse. When these gametes fuse, they fuse from their anterior end. So if we say draw one gamete which has its two flagella and it fuses with the other gamete this is the other gamete and it has its two flagella. Let me draw one more black here. So there are two gametes. Each one is a biflagellate gamete and they fuse through their anterior end. This results into formation of a zygote which is quadriflagellate. So this is a quadriflagellate flagellate zygote and now this zygote is going to lose its flagella. So once it loses its flagella and it becomes a little thick wall then we start calling it zygospore and this zygospore is diploid. This zygote is also diploid. So after fertilization by isogamous fertilization because these two are exactly identical. That means morphologically and physiological. Now the zygospore which is a diploid structure, it undergoes meiosis or meiotic division. After meiotic division, what happens is there would be, this is the thick wall of the zygospore and there would be four Spores again which would be produced and these are called the meospores and after some time when they become uh, of significant size then the outer wall is going
going to rupture, releasing these spores. And now when these spores are released, they are going to have two flagella. Each spore is going to have these two flagella. Now we start calling them zoomiospores. So these are the zoomiospores. And now each zoomiospore will grow to the normal size and will start acting as the haploid organism. So fusion has taken place. The gametes which are produced, they are produced by the same process as the zoospore formation takes place. That means Clamidomonas would first lose its flagella, will lose contractile vacuum, will become non-motile. Its protoplast undergoes multiple mitotic divisions resulting in formation of many tiny structures. When the parent cells are released, uh, in, when the parent cell ruptures, these cells are released and therefore gametes. Each gamete is smaller than the zoospore but is biflagellate. So it looks like a very small chlamydomonas. Two identical gametes are going to fuse through their anterior end resulting in formation of a quadriflagellate zygote. Zygote immediately is going to lose all four flagella and will become non-motile. We will start calling it zygospore. It secretes a thick wall around itself. Then in the zygospore undergoes a meiotic division to form four meiospores, which after rupturing of the zygospore are released because they have flagella, we start calling them zoomiospores. And these zoomiospores will again start leading their life as haploid chlamydomonas. Now this is how the sexual reproduction takes place. We have already seen asexual reproduction. We can start from here and there would be sexual reproduction by either zoospore formation, aplanospore formation, hypnospore or akinate depending upon what kind of conditions are there. So if we talk about this zoospore formation, so this much is the sexual cycle or sexual reproduction and this is asexual reproduction. And these zoospores will start again acting as the haploid cells. Here the division is mitotic. Here also it is mitotic. Only place where meiosis takes place is in the zygospore. And that is why this meiosis is also known as zygotic meiosis. So if we have to sum up asexual sexual reproduction or in other words the life cycle of chlamydomonas, then how many stages are haploid and how many are diploid? Only one stage is the diploid stage that is zygote and after losing the flagella the zygospore. So this is the diploid part. Rest of the life is spent as haploid cells. So the life cycle is haplontic. Haplontic life cycle is where most of the life is spent as haploid stage and there is only one stage which is diploid. So we see haplontic life cycle in case of chlamydomonas and they show asexual as well as sexual reproduction. So this was one member of green algae or chlorophyta. In the next part we will take up another member of the same group.